Hey yo, what's up guys, the beast Frenchie here. And some of you guys actually requested me to do um, a GM video, a be a GM series, a new one, um, other than the Montreal Canadiens. And a lot of you guys asked for um, a fantasy draft team. So that's why I'm that's what I'm doing right now. So we will be using I'm not the hab, so um, let's see any team I can take. We will be obviously a random team, but cool team. Which one? Uh, anyone really? Like, I'll just go take a random team. All right, the Flames. Good. I don't know. I don't want the Flames. I want a cool team. Los Angeles. Let's go. Let's take ALA Kings. Good. And then settings. So, you guys requested me to do, um, where is it, advanced settings maybe? No, it was just there, I saw it. Fantasy draft, on. You asked me to do that. So, that's what I will do. So actually, let's get right into this. Start career, so I'm doing this. But I'm not so good at making a team. So I'll do my best, I guess. So turn off salary cap. So maybe for the beginning we'll turn it off, just because we might have a really good team. So okay, well, I want to go maybe third, not 21. Right. So I'll put myself maybe second. Yeah, I don't know because I really want third. Right. Start the draft. Start draft. Good. Right, so ah, god damn it! That's who I wanted to draft. God damn it! All right, since we're not going to be able to take Carey Price, drafted players, and uh, no, available available players. We don't have any time limit there, so I'll look at the goalies that are available. Um, no, but can I not? Oh, okay, goalies. There you go. Should have put myself a second plus, second spot. Oh well. So long vist, quick, Arena and Rask, but old B is still available. But I might be able to draft them with my second round draft pick, or if I can't, I'll just go for my um, Anderson or somebody like that. So I'm not going to take um, a good goalie, but that is important, that is my next pick. But not a good defenseman, I will take Captain, the Captain. This guy will be the captain of the team, Jonathan Taves, with the first round pick. With my third round pick, I might go for a big rookie. So, and then a defenseman. All right, so let's see. Goalies, that is the thing I'm drafting. Unless there's a really, really, really good player. Oh, my God, that's who's still available. But he's a hold, and we want to build a good, solid team. So, okay, we're going to go to goalies. Let's see which goalies are still available. Come on now. So Anderson, Bishop, um, then you have Mason, but fuck Mason. We're going to play with Ben Bishop in the net. There you go, make a pick. The, my goal that I wanted is not available anymore. Okay, so now we're going for Connor McDavid. I don't know if he's still in there, but fuck it. I'm sitting, all right. Franchise, Jack Eichel. Yeah, all right. Jack Eichel, I'm good with, but let's see. McDavid has been drafted, I guess. Yeah, all right. He has been drafted. So, we're going to take Jack Eichel. Franchise, that is an important pick right there. Okay, so we're now back. So, we should go for defenseman now. Um, that is my main focus, so I'll go defenseman. I want a solid one that still is a little bit, uh, well, young. So Johnson, that is a good one. 28 marks tall. Um, 84, 87 Johnson, I can go for that. He's 27 years old. I can go for Brodine at 86, 22 years old. Low elite. Or Jack Muzzin at 87, 26. Um, I really don't know. Or for Mark Stahl. I'll just go for Eric Johnson. Yep. There you go. Make a pick. Alright, so we got our defenseman. Now, what I want to go for 
Um, a good winger that won't be bad. But then you have this guy right there that's still available. I don't know for all long, but I feel like with a thrift pick, picking that looks not that bad. But well, let's see, the rookie is still available because I want to build a young team that will be good in the future, not a team that's good right now. So Kadri, nah. Uberto, that is a good one, but I think I can get him not this round, but the other one after. So I might actually go for Tyler Myers. No, he's a defenseman. No, I quite, I'm trying to look at everything at the same time. Left winger, James Arnim is like 87 years old, elite. There you go, I'll draft this guy. Could have, yeah, that's a dumb pick. Should have drafted <laughs> someone else. Whatever. All right, see if that's you still available, I'm drafting him for sure. Osa's still available though. 90 overall. Can help the team for a season. Um, I don't have any right wingers, so that is actually fair. That, that's not dumb. All right, so next pick, I'm picking a defenseman. All right, yeah, defenseman is the thing to go for right now. So I want a good, really young defenseman. That is the thing I will go for. Um, defenseman. So I've got one really old player. Um, all right, so Zdeno Chara. Nope, no, not for by it's God damn it. I think I want to go for uh, and if he's if still available, maybe you have this good rookie. But um, all right, so we've got Griffin Reinhardt still available, but we want a good one that can play the first line. So maybe CC is a good pick, but though easy um, red elite. But this one, but is oh my god, it's hard to do. Ah, oh, god damn it. Or I can maybe go look in the top four, maybe see if there's anyone at 86. Okay, I'll draft. Because we really need a good defenseman. And uh, we'll draft CC, 84 overall elite, 21 years old. There you go. Right now, next pick, I'm going for... Alright, let's see what have we got already. So we've got... And then two centers, one left winger, right, one right winger. We're going for maybe our backup goalie if you want to be really solid in goaltending. Oh, Plikanek's still available. Uh, no, I'm not going for him. I'll sort by potential. I like doing that. It's actually pretty good. Uh, it's actually a decent idea. So, like you see all those rookies. So, yeah, I could draft Schultz and have another good elite defenseman. But then again... Um, we should draft some. It's not a. We should draft, I think, one really good prospect in the minors. So we will go for Dylan Strom. Uh, do I want to go for Dylan Strom? Yeah, he's a good. No, I'll go for Schultz. Okay, so our defensive score. I need to good draft forwards next draft pick. A little bit. Alright. So I've got a lot of elite players. Alright, so next pick, I'm drafting a forward. All right, but it does not show me the exact. Is it because it's a little bit lower? No, all right. So let's see who's still available. I'll sort by overall. So we have our first line. No, we don't. Yeah, we have our first line. What, I'm, what am I saying? But we need, is it, um, I think we need a good right winger that can play solid for a couple of years. So maybe an 86, 85. Um, I'll go for right wingers. Let's see. Of course, we're not going to take um, Jagger is way too old. So maybe 27 for leak. Um, top six forward, 85. Zach Cashin. He can grow to an uh, elite. I want to take a look. No, there's no Gallagher anymore. That's not surprising. All right, so I'll go for. For a league, so we're quickly building. Okay, next one I'm going to say. Um, what am I saying? I'm going to sort by. Oh yeah, we should take our backup goalie right now. I'll try to uh, draft a really high, um, but I'm, they're probably not going to be in one anymore. But maybe a really good. Yeah. Okay. So there is still goalies available. So I'll s sort them by their potential. So starter, let's see one that can play our backup goalie. Robin Leonard can play our backup goalie. I'm not, eh, I'm not, that's not a too bad pick right there. 
and getting our second goalie. And after that, we are going for a left winger. Right, so next pick will be our, our left winger. <sighs> All right. Building a um, good um, young team here in Los Angeles. So, all right, Matt Molson still available. That is a really good one, especially for our second line. But he's 31 years old. But then again, he can play um, maybe a good three or four years um, in the for us. So I know I'm taking the first one. That's not the thing you should do. You should always look for good prospects. I have drafted Eichel already, but now, um, all right, since I have my two first lines done. I mean, everywhere, except defense, I should probably, yeah, no. Do I want to be really solid defensively? Because there's still some really good ones available. Markov is being one of them, but I can draft him way after this one, way after this round. So, all right. Now, the thing I want to do is maybe draft some good players for our, uh, for our, like I'm, a, I can't even talk right now, shit, for our, um, AHL squad because you always need those so I'll go sort this by potential we are now drafting but okay so there's still dry saddle available so I'll draft him because he's an elite all right all right so dry saddle quickly helping us for our AHL squad we got okay so round 13 now we are choosing I think we should go for Right, we have a center, but uh, shit, we have our goalies. Yeah, you need this. I need a center, a good center that can maybe play. Uh, that can play that and still grow. I don't want another Leaf on my team, not because I don't like them. Well, yeah, I don't like them that much, but I feel like I have too much Leafs. So yeah, I feel like I am like an 83 on the third line. Not too bad. So I could go for another rookie here. But that is not just a rookie. I, I don't understand myself. I'll try to find one. Like maybe with a Nick Spalling. Which is a good player. Um, he can play some third line ice time. Even fourth line if we need to. And he's in high top six. So a lot of potential players. That's what I'm trying to do for my team. So next player I think we should go for... Defenseman, that is important. Yep, maybe a good defenseman. If like a really good one is still available, Mark Streit's still available. But your hold, Paul Martin hold. Um, I'll try to grab maybe at 83, but with a lot of potential. So I'll start by potential. Maybe we can. Maybe we can even get someone for AHL squad. So, come on. Oh shit, Provanov for the AHL squad. Um. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. We're gonna we yeah because if we don't make the playoffs here, one with the, sh the team I'm building right now, we might need some prospects in the future years. So when you're doing this, you have a decision to make. If you want to build um, like a team that can make the playoffs but not go far, a team that will not make the playoffs but maybe in year two or three will make the playoffs. But um, the team I'm trying to build right now is a team that can make the playoffs and that can still give us good rookies in the NHL. Good. Drafted players. So let's see what I got. God damn it. Taking forever. Right. So this is this my team? All right. So we have we have this already. All right. These are all the players I drafted. I have, like you can see, like it's all fucking um, dope players with... A lot of good potential. So my team is quickly coming together. Okay, so Jagger is still available. Um, do I want to go after him? Maybe next round if I still... Um, maybe, let's say, if I still have... Oh, god damn it. I hate when he does that. Alright, is it back to normal? Nope. Um, let's see what we have. I should go for a winger. Because we have our three first centers. Our two goalies. Or actually... Yeah, we have a good potential. Oh, God damn. Why are you acting weird? Oh my 
god. Oh my god, it's not the time for you to do this. Hang on. God damn it. <laughs> Look at that, I can't do shit. Holy shit. Hang on, if I go there, then... Oh yeah, shit, I can finally sort by the thing I wanted to sort. Right, so we have a... Holy fuck. So we can maybe grab one of these guys for the AHL squad. Yep. Maybe. Um, but we want to grab maybe one of those guys. Medium starter. And he's 23 years old, so Picard would be a good one for a goalie for the AHL squad. So I'll do that. Then I'll go for after third line right wingers. Because you always need to think about your AHL team while you're doing this. So alright, I've got this pick right there. Hope it's not fucked up. Alright, it's back to normal. Good. Um, Alright, so available players. I want to go after... I've got my centers. So my right winger, maybe. Let's see who's available in um, playing right wing. So Gilna, but I don't want a two-hole player. So like I've been doing since the beginning, I'll sort by potential. Okay, so not so much potential here. Um, 81s. I might want to go lower and take maybe an 83 for my no all right there's no s opejo is still available ah that's interesting Sakach there ah uh, fuck it i'll just sort by overall maybe get an 83 or something for a third line so uh maybe a younger one younger 82 overall 27 chris Stewart, right winger and he has low salary, so that is that is good for me. Top six forward once again. So we are we have our first four defensemen. We should okay. We're going for left winger right now. Then I'll uh, maybe start drafting lower end players. So Jagger is still available, but I don't want to go after him. So left wingers, and then okay so. You have this guy right there, Glendening, 26 years old, top 9 forward, medium. But you s yeah, you have other guys with higher overall. So I'll try to take a look at them. So Bickle? No. Yeah, I'll prefer Glendening with uh, 26 years old, low salary and everything. So it is a third liner. Alright. So, good. McQuay, all right, so McQuay got drafted just before us. So let's see what we can still grab here. Um, all right, I'm trying to look for any good. All right, so let's sort by potential and maybe grab one of the highest one. Yep, sort by potential. Because now it's only my fourth line that I still need to do. So I can maybe grab some players from for the AHL squad. So maybe grabbing one of uh, another one of these elite defensemen for the squad is not too bad. So I'll do that for uh, for my with my two next picks. I'll draft I'll draft elite defensemen and no maybe not a defenseman this time if there's still like a left winger available or something. I hope it's not uh, too much of an overpowered team. A uh, Barzal still available. That is good. Okay, so Shannon Kirk. Still available. Mitch Marner is still available. Ooh. So if I still have a chance at Marner, I'll draft him right after this. Come on now. Let me get Marner. Please. Someone never drafted. No one drafted Marner, right? No one did. I hope so. All right. Let's see if I can get myself Marner. Double the Slashman. So now I sh I'm focusing more on my... um. AHL players because like I said we already have our first oh my fuck I need another one of these uh, defensemen I forgot about that I'll check I'll quickly take a look if Marner is still available and then I'll draft maybe Markov after that so Marner uh, yeah Marner is still available good All right so now we have a lot of good players for the AHL squad I can f um, finish the AHL squad after that with um, free agency if we need so I'll go after a defenseman. I don't care if he's old. 
you still need like some hold players to help you out. So, don't care if he's too old, but would prefer a younger one. So Markov, I like him. He's he's not too old. Like he's a little bit old, but yeah, there you go. Hundred Markov deserves it. Good. Markov got drafted in round 21, a 604 overall. All right, so we have the this. There you go. So there's still a lot of rounds to go through. So our defensive score is looking great. Um, we have a solid first line. Okay, so okay, right winger. We still need a little bit of our right wingers. So I'll draft a right winger. No, no, no. Well, come on. Now I want to draft maybe a high potential that can play the NHL this year. <clears throat> Someone like no, no, not Brown. He's too old. Yeah, all right. Fuck the high. Um, Fuck the eye uh, potential, I guess. Just grab someone that can play the NHL this year. Oh my god, it's so laggy. Uh, yeah, fuck this. I can grab them in way, like, around way after those. So I'll try to grab maybe a 30 or, like, maybe... Okay, so I'm going for a right winger. That will play my fourth line, so... I'll try to grab maybe a grinder. Um, player type where you see those you can't Parental still available. That is good. I oh, should go for savior. Whatever. Yep 81 years old uh, 80 overall. I mean 81 And he will play he will maybe play our fourth line so Now okay, I have all of these uh, completed so I will go after two defensemen That will complete the squad then I might draft, might if he's still available, draft Agilia, because you always need good players to play with. Like you always need all, you always need those like uh, fuck I can't even talk, veterans that can help the rookies, right? So defenseman, ball, but yeah. Then again, he's old. Tom Gilbert, no way I'm drafting this guy. I have nothing against. Yeah, fuck it. I don't like. I don't like him. So I'll grab Cleason. Can still maybe my and if you're wondering why I'm not drafting like the 83 that is still available, it is because I don't really care about him being 83 overall. Yeah, he's still available. Should I draft him or maybe go? Yeah, fuck it. Ingilia was my favorite, one of my favorite player growing up. So you are you know playing f with the squad for maybe a couple of years, I guess. All right, so now we should draft. A potential defenseman if they're still available uh, anyways all right so defenseman potential let's see what's available I should go for this guy right there 75 overall 23 you can maybe play the NHL if we are Really in deep shit, but another one of these uh, good potential players that will probably play the AHL. All right, now I'll draft maybe a last 80 overall defenseman, and then I'm going full out. Um, and then I will be drafting random players that it can help um, the AHL squad. Not random players, but you know, you understand what I'm saying. So defenseman. Let's see. Maybe not so whole. Oh, 28 years old. Fane. 82 overall. Top four. Um, all right. So all right, we are there. A lot, a lot of players got left to draft. So okay. Before we draft anybody, I want to take a look at who I've drafted already. So. I'll do that. Maybe I forgot to draft. Um, I have drafted a potential right winger, and uh, I think I have all of those. So I'll take a look. So right winger that I have drafted. I should go for yeah, drafted players. So he cl he plays first line, second, um, third, and fourth. And then maybe if we get injuries, or I can even play the left wing if we need to. So we've got. 
yeah, we will play the left wing. The other guy I showed you. This guy will play the AHL squad. That is for sure. Centers. Um, we've got Taves, Eichel, Spalling. So we're weak at the center position. Yeah, obviously we've got Taves, but we're weak because I, for I forgot I drafted Eichel. So Spalling. But Eichel will grow, that is for sure. Maybe after like the draft, he will maybe even increase to 86, 87 by getting second line ice time. So he will get some second line ice time. So I should draft another center right now. Um, I watch right wingers. Okay, so defensemen. Let's see what we already got. Um, we got Johnson playing. Probably going to play with Markov. CC and Schultz are going to play together. And Fane and Gleason together. And all those guys, the AHL squad. Maybe grow and come to replace Markov when he needs a replacement. So maybe we should keep on going and draft a center right now. That is, that has high overall, but would not play for us with like with not too long with us. So Ribeiro can play the second line. Yeah, Ribeiro is a logical pick because we need him. We need a good second line player, and he could, he could be this guy. Oh fuck, that just lagged a little bit there. So pick 28. Okay, so I'm just only going for potential players, depth players, and everything because we already have our NHL squad set and ready to go. All right, so we've got top six players still available. Paul Byron still available. All right, might drop this guy just because he's played for the Habs, whatever. Um, maybe we can look, take a look, and maybe draft a good. Um, potential goaltender that can play. Yeah, still. There you go. Um, no. Fuck it. I don't want this guy. Ew. Yeah, fuck it. Ew, we will have good. Um, we'll have a lot of good goalies. So pick 29. I'm only going for maybe depth players because players that can help the AHL squad. Because all those guys I can sign in free agency by if they're still available by now. So I've got I might need the left win here. So Nolan Anderson, I'll draft Nolan. Uh, but then again, he's not um, he's not really gonna play on my AHL squad. So Paul Byron, fuck it, a hey, NHL Montreal Canadiens. There you go, drafting Paul Byron for the LA Kings all right round 30 three picks left so all those guys don't worry I'll take a look at them when they're still available in the um, free agency because the, there is still free agency if we need it probably not going to need it so whatever I'll use free agency to draft maybe 70 70 overalls that can play our team so available players Burrow's still available, but where is he? 34 years old, so I'm not getting any younger. All right, so I'll sort this by potential. So, yeah, let's grab maybe the highest one. 77, 25 years old. You're officially playing in my AHL squad. Good. Good, Brown. All right. Picked 31. Uh, all right, I don't really care about those players really the two last picks are not that important. Oh fuck! Okay, that's the player drafted. I thought there was elite players available um, by now All right good potential Maybe if there's anyone with uh, Nolan fuck it you can make it um, make it to the team make a pick Grinder, so fourth liner right there, and our last pick of this draft. We will choose maybe Shane Down. No, too, way to hold. Potential guy, come on. So still maybe one of these top six players still available, but the are these are top six defensemen. So I'll grab this. 18 years old, 53 overall. Um, no, fuck it, I can grab him in the 
Yeah, I can grab any of those guys really in the... Uh... Yeah, alright, fuck it. I'll grab... Uh, what I want. Who do I really want? Like... All of those guys I can draft, I can take in the... Yeah, fuck it, I'll grab this guy. Whatever. And then it's over. Let's see, so these are the guys we drafted. Fence. Almost a thousand players got drafted there. I'm pretty, good. I'm pretty good with all the players we drafted. I mean, there is no, not many bad players. Like, look at that. We might need to be, we might need to grow our defensive categories, but we are still good, I guess. And for that, we can just signs. So I'll check the lines they made, and the and the AHL squad, whatever. I can talk. I um, mean, yeah, yeah, fuck it. I'll turn that off. And maybe the AHL squad um, needs something. No, some... Oh, okay. So, who are those guys? No, but fuck it. They won't play this year. I don't want them playing here. No way that's happening. Why are you there? You should play in the NHL. You're telling me you're playing in Gilliam, Herrero, and Nolan in the NHL. Who's in the NHL? And Shkirk, Dressidal, and... Are playing in the NHL? That is fucking not logic. Alright, so I'll try to make the lines as they should be. And yeah, I'll see what I can do with all of this. Alright, so you're playing the NHL, fuck it. Alright, so option, I'll uh, go to rush moves. Oh, okay, so that's the only thing we need to do. And might, we still might need to draft some players. Uh, from the free agency if you want to have the best HL squad we can uh, Alright, so I'll sort this by overall So Marner, oh my god Marner and all of these are playing in my NHL squad. Are you kidding me? Oh God damn it All right, so I'll send all of them in my um, HL squad whatever so that's, that is looking pretty solid. Those two guys playing together alongside of um, this guy right there, Van Riemsdijk. So, go to roster moves once again. Alright. Good. Good. Now we just need to... Alright, so we are sending Marner, Dry Saddle, Provenov... Shannon Kirk and this guy. You cannot choose more than three. God damn it. Um, Alright, so now in the system we are sending back up Gilia, Fane, and Ribeiro. Confirm. Oh, Marner and Provenov are gonna play in the juniors. Oh, uh, fuck it. Alright. In the system, but they're not playing in the NHL squad. So fuck it. Um, so yeah, in the NHL, I still need to send two, both of you guys down. Confirm. Then the in the system. Uh, there's not so many players in there. Like these are all the skaters we have. Damn. All right. Um, overall. Sort this by that. Come on. Nolan. So Nolan coming back to the NHL squad. Confirm. Best lines, whatever. Alright, let's see the lines. Now that's what I'm talking about. 92 overall, 90, 90 offensive, 90 defensive, and 90 goalies. So I did lines there. Let's take a look at that. So, yeah, that looks better. Yep, everyone's playing where he should. Good. Looking like if those two guys... Yeah, but this guy... Okay, so this guy's not going to play much longer after this year. This is yeah, this guy also. So, right wingers, I've got some. But we might need help there. So, defense. This guy's not going to play that long. 
but this guy uh, can still come back here and play his position. So, okay. Justin Schultz maybe can even play it or whatever. So, looking pretty solid for um, defensive course. And then the AHL. Let's take a look at that. Holy fuck, we need to go draft some other players. Oh, no, that's not looking good. Right, so we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven AHL squad players for the offense and then defense. Maybe only one. I don't know how this guy got signed to my team because I don't remember him, but fuck it. So, okay, I'll grab the maybe one defenseman and seven forwards. And on goalies, I'm pretty sure I have all of them. Yep, Picard and Hackett. Free agency. Still a little bit. Not going to take forever. Not so bad. All right. So. Let's take a look at who's available. I'm gonna sort this by potential. 73 left winner. Don't give a shit, I don't have any. So maybe three years with us at seven, and yeah, that's it. So there's one. I want 70 overalls that can grow. Um, I needed one defenseman, right? So there's a guy I will draft. Yep, I'll go for three years at 700. Whatever, we don't have the salary cap. I might turn that on if we don't have that much salary because I don't know how much salary we have. So, all right, so I'll go for forwards. Sort by overall. So friends and don't. Uh, all those guys, my, we, we don't really need them as you guys saw for the NHL squad. So I'll go with 70 overalls that are maybe 25 maybe. Top 9, Rick Nash, uh, Riley Nash. I don't think, oh, Delwees. You know I got to do it. You know I got to. Where was he? I saw him. I swear I saw Delwees. Fuck it. The man got to play in our team. Like, Delwees. What a beast. Yep. All right. <laughs> so, my one of our players might send get. Might send. Uh, whatever. I can talk. Fuck it. F it. Uh -huh. There is. Okay. 80, 80 overall. 79. All right, so we're getting into the players that can play the... You! Yeah, no, fuck. You want a two-way? Good, you're in the team. This is how you do it. So I might need... Okay, so I don't need any more um, left winger. I need maybe one or two centers for one year or so because don't forget that um, there's still some players coming up. Alright, so we are at 77. Good, we should be able to grab a good one. Bottom 6, medium. That's what I'm looking for. Collins, good. Yep, at this point I'm only like taking the last players we need to. This is probably a long ass video. But that's exact. That's what you expect. When um, defense, oh, I have only 9 out of 12 defensemen. Yeah, not so good. That's what I expect when... Uh, uh, yeah, so when you do this type of um, be a GM, so hold the team meeting. Obviously, I have no chemistry between all of those guys. Yep, fuck it. I'll say the second one. I don't want to get into this really in this video. Yep, yep, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Shit, no, I'm not playing games. Um, I don't know. I want. I have got four players for the AHL squad. I think um, so we still need some I'll just grab two right wingers 
And I'll call that an episode. Scouting, free agents, there you go. Because we still can grab some. With the draft and you have all of those players that are playing. Yeah, you have two of those, uh, two of our players that are playing their CHL teams this year. Which, which are Murner and Provenov. So overall, yep, I'm not going to have that, that grab that 48 overall for your team. Not happening. Alright, just quickly going through all of these. So I want a right winger. I'll grab two right random right wingers and then it's gonna be it because I'm I feel like this is a really long video already. And I don't want to guess waste you got your guys' time. So alright, HL bottom six, yep. Alright, so I'll sign maybe you because you're bottom six. Yep, that's a good reason to sign you, I guess. And 24, you. Yep. Look good enough for an NHL squad. Yep. Good. That's it. All right. So I've got all of these. Maybe I can grab another center. Uh, contract offer that I offered seven. So I really need, I still need the center because I've got one defenseman, six forwards. So last thing, defenseman, a center. I'll take a good one. Fuck it. Um, what can I take? Uh, whatever though, like this guy. Yep. All right. Now that's that is done. Ah, oh, goddamn, take forever. All right. So the team is finally all right. Let's simulate this first game. Ah, oh, shit. So nice. Good. One zero. Three zero. Three one. And four one. If you're in, like, if you have any interest in that. Good. Continue. Come on now, I want to see players getting drafted to my AHL squad. Oh my god, it's taking forever. Look. I'll just sim until there. Hope all the players get signed. Alright, so offer accepted, 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 accept. Demand, right there. Accepted. And alright, let's see if there's any more. Accepted. Accepted, accepted. Oh, we lost two straight. Oh, and Bishop was injured, so that is why. Good. So, alright. All of these should be playing in the AHL. Delwis I'll call up because, you know, Delwis gotta play where he belongs, which is the NHL. Alright, so there is the NHL squad. AHL, so I guess that all uh, my players are playing right now. So I'll just do option best lines. There you go. This looks more like an AHL squad in my opinion. Delwis, you do not you do not belong here though. You gotta play where you belong in the NHL. I can't believe I got this guy in free agency though. Like it's so cool. My favorite player. Don't you guys agree? Best player in the NHL. There's a reason why his nickname is New, Z New Zealand Gretzky, whatever, something like that. I don't know the country, but Gretzky is his nickname. Right, no waivers, fuck it. All right, now I can go back to the lines, put him in the lineup, because obviously he will play the NHL squad. Okay, so here's our AHL squad. We still have a shitty right winger right there, but it's a fourth liner. So, fuck it. And Nolan, I'm sorry, but we've got another best player than you that will play f for you. Which is the always the man itself. Changing all lines. There you go, we've got the always playing now. The team's gonna start on winning games. And there you go, there you guys have it, the first episode of this series. And if you're still there and wondering why I haven't... Um, let me scratch this, guy, scratch this guy quickly. Why I haven't um, continued my Habs video. It's because I realized it was I was so biased that it wasn't even fun to do. Like, I liked some players and everything, so it was just like, you can be doing a BHM on the team you're a fan of. I feel like but anyways that is my opinion so 
Yeah, I, there's not really a reason. It's probably it's only because fans, not fans. You're not my. Well, some of you guys are, but some of my subscribers asked for a finish draft series, so that's what I'm bringing you guys. So if you want me to keep on doing the Habs series, the Habs BGM, still, I will do that. I have no issue doing that. But yeah, I don't mind. I really don't. So if you want that, just come in. in uh, that you want still on the Habs videos, I'll keep on doing those. And this year, like if you want the Habs video, well, I'll do two days Habs and then one day is one of these because I upload daily now. And it's once, like one day it's be a pro, and the other day it's be a GM day. So the be a GM days, I will switch from this series to the other one. So well, yeah, bringing bringing even more like diversity or whatever to my channel. So, yeah, I hope you still enjoyed. I'll show you one more time the lineup before I leave. So there's the AHL squad that um, I don't agree with because if you're better, in my opinion, yeah, Byron can take the second line. Fuck it. And there you go. There it is. There it was uh, this was the AHL squad. Now the NHL squad. There it is. There you guys have it. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can always leave a like. I, like I said, I always appreciate those. Yeah, that's been it for me, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to tell me if you want me to keep on doing the Montreal Canadiens be a GM. Because I will keep on doing it if you guys want me. You pretty much decide what you want to see from me. I'll do it. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. I said that already. So, yeah. I will see you guys in my next video.